Connor Washington and I'm a Loughborough graduate. It was different at first because I'd just come back from America so you know going into the university lifestyle over here is a lot different from being in America but it's probably the best time of my life like you know getting to study and play basketball at the same time you meet so many different people and I've made so many lifelong friends along the way and I was there for four years um, I did a sports science course and I ultimately ended up splitting my third year into two parts which obviously took me to the four years that was alongside it, um, my professional contract with Leicester so I guess coming back from America was a, was a good way for me to start getting my confidence back again, start playing again, you know, regularly, and just finding a feel for the game again. From when you start school, this is ultimately the point you want to get to, so you're finally finishing school. But it's been a great experience, Loughborough has been the best place for me. Um, so much support, family and friends, you know, everybody around Loughborough. And um, we finally got a championship with the Bucks University in our, in our final year. So that's one of the main things I wanted to achieve. There was uh, three seniors, me, uh, Will Maynard and Anthony Rowe. So, you know, to go out in our, all of our last years and win a gold medal, it was great. Some of the things I learned along the four years was just how to be more of a balanced person, like in myself. Like, there's a lot of things you can be involved in while you're at university. There's a lot of, you know, ways to manage your time, you know, prioritise. I was playing professionally as well as for the university. I started off with a Division Two team and I've got classes to attend. You've got deadlines, exams, coursework, so at times it can all get a bit too much. We're traveling up and down the country, you know, playing games every weekend, training every day. You know, so it could, it could affect, I guess, studies or basketball in you know, that respect, but I think it just, being here allowed me to, you know, find myself as a person more and be able to cope with different situations that I was in. And I just think that if I put my mind to it and I put my heart into it, then I can do whatever I want. So this place was a great, you know, stepping stone for me to do that. And I was able to develop and mature as a person, as well as a basketball player. Obviously, my roles do change in different teams, like playing for Mark and also playing for the Riders. But I feel like I still want to try and be the same player that I am. So both the coaches, Rob and Mark, they're more than just a coach to me. They're like, we have a, we have a bond, you know, it's a friendship. So. It's still great to play for both of me either way, but Mark, me and Mark, I, he's brought me up from when I first came here. So, you know, playing for him, I know what he expects of me and he wants me to lead the team. You know, he wants me to be the main voice of the team, be the floor general. He wants me to take over, you know, when, when the time's right. And um, it's just a different dynamic, but I enjoy it nonetheless, like playing for, playing for both of them and being around group of guys who are my close friends is nothing bad. What does the future hold for me? I still want to push and play professional basketball the highest level I can. Still going to develop every day. Um, I guess and just experience life along the way. I always want to, you know, try and travel to as many different places as I can and see the world. And um, I think basketball so far has been taking me everywhere. So I'm not going to stop playing until the days are done.